for youth training. And I welcome you all to this orientation session on AI student community. I hope all of you are doing well and we are delighted to have you all in this session today. What are we going to learn in today's session? Today's session is all about understanding what is AI student community? What are what can you learn on this platform? And give you a demonstration of go through in this platform and what can you learn? So today's session is all about getting oriented to the AI student community. So without further ado, let's get started. You can share your excitement in the chat section and to assist you with your questions and queries, we have moderators to assist you with your queries in the chat section. So feel free to post your questions and queries in the chat section. Kindly be patient with your queries and we will help out with your questions in the chat section. So let's start the session, which is orientation on the AI student community. So for that, we will watch a video that talks about what is AI student community and what is the process that has been put into making this platform for you all. So let us watch this video and then we can carry forward the discussion. Sorry about uh, the issue. I believe the on my screen again for you to be able to get the audio for it. All right, let me play the video from the beginning. I hope you'll be able to hear it. Artificial intelligence or a machine which can think is an unnoticeable part of our daily lives today. Navigation, online shopping, listening to music, and much more has a flavor of AI in it. And this is not it. Artificial intelligence has a wide range of possibilities waiting for us in the future. Thus, to make sure that our next generation is ready for it, CBSE joined hands with Intel to launch an AI student community, an online community for students from all across the country providing a platform to learn, share experiences, and leverage the knowledge for creating AI-enabled social impact solutions while spreading AI awareness in an inclusive way. The key objectives is to build an AI-ready generation. It is a platform that helps you in learning AI as a skill through various webinars, face-to-face -face bootcamps, and exclusive AI learning resources. A learning which can be applied to develop social impact projects. And at the same time, you can even participate in online challenges to test and upgrade your knowledge. 
You can also interact with other students from across the country through various AI related discussions. And if you have developed something out of the box using AI, this platform gives you a chance to showcase it to your friends. Even better, some extraordinary ideas might get exclusive mentorship to enhance their project or turn them into reality. This isn't with it website and register yourself now to become a part of the most enthusiastic youth-driven community of students, for students and by students. Yes, so this is AI student community. It is the most enthusiastic youth driven AI community of students for students and by students. So this is the thought process that have been put into making this platform for you all. So what is AISC? What is AI student community? AI student community is a youth driven platform to encourage students with collaborative learning so that they can share their experiences. They can create AI enabled social impact solutions and you can share these AI impact solutions that you have made with your friends and you will be given a chance to showcase your projects, your creations with everyone. So this is AI student community. Here on this platform, you can learn a lot about artificial intelligence. You can learn not just about this emerging technology, which is AI, but apart from that, you can learn lots of different things, such as you can learn, you can learn Python and improve your skills in Python programming. You can learn about various other technologies and topics such as blockchain, data privacy, solid waste management, and lots of other interesting topics. This is a platform where you can learn a lot about AI and you can not just share your experiences with everyone, but also you will be given an opportunity to participate in competitions. You'll be given an opportunity to create your own AI enabled social impact solutions and you will be also given a chance to showcase that and show to the world your cool idea. So how cool is this that you have a platform through which you can not just learn about AI, you can not just interact with your uh, friends here and in share information about AI, but also participate in lots of more things. So this is the platform for you. The best part about this is that there is no charge to become a member of AI student community. Yes, it is free of cost. All you have to do is sign in and get started with your learning journey in artificial intelligence. When we give you a demonstration of the platform, you will understand what is it that you can learn here on this platform. How can you leverage the knowledge, your time and space that you have given to this platform into creating something very cool and interesting? How can you think of solutions that are going to solve very serious problems that we know in today's time? Not just that, there's lots more that you can uh, work on AI student community. All right, so now let's take a look at what can you learn and what can you do on this platform? We will begin with understanding about what can you learn here in this platform? Like I said before, you can learn about AI. You can learn about lots of other different and interesting topics such as blockchain. You have uh, data privacy, solid waste management and lots of other interesting ideas and topics that you can learn about. Some of these topics you may not have heard about, but through this platform, by attending those sessions, you will be able to get a basic understanding of all these different interesting 
topics. Then along with learning about AI, there are also sources, resources provided to you in which you can learn about Python programming. Now this platform is not just for students who are an expert or who have some experience in programming in Python or having an experience in AI. This platform is open for all students from class 6 to 12 who have the desire and the passion to learn new things. If you have the curiosity to learn about new topics, if you want to make cool and interesting solutions, this is the platform for you. So you can begin by learning about basics of AI, basics of Python, and then proceed up the ladder to improve your skills on AI and Python. Also, apart from that, you can also explore lots of resources that are provided to you. Now, upon joining the AI student community, you, can, you will see that there would be something called as Let's learn section. In this section, there are lots, there are five lectures on AI and five lectures on Python. Along with these lectures, there are certain resources that are provided to you to learn more and to explore more about the topic that have been covered in these lectures. Not just that, additional learning resources have also been provided to you and from these resources, you can learn lots of more information and lot more things about AI and Python through those additional resources. And not just that, for any webinar, for any session that you attend, there will be certain resources that will be shared with you. For example, in the Let's Learn section, when you start going through learning about Python, there are resources for you to explore more about the topic. Apart from that, there would also be Jupyter Notebooks that would help you to get started with learning Python. These resources would help you to build a solid foundation into your knowledge and your expertise on AI and Python. From then onwards, you can learn about lots of different webinars that have been covered in this platform. So you can begin with learning about what is artificial intelligence. You can learn about what do we call as AI and what do we call as not AI. Also, you can learn about interesting topics such as sustainable development goals that gives us an idea that what is the purpose of learning about AI? Well, the answer is that with the help of AI, by leveraging your knowledge on AI, you can identify social problems that are very serious. And with your knowledge on AI, you can come up with innovative ideas and bridge the gap between idea and reality. By attending these webinars, you can learn lots more than what has been covered in the Let's Learn section. So far, we have learned about topics such as NumPy, Pandas, and other packages of Python, such as OpenCV, Natural Language Toolkit, and Matplotlib. Also, apart from that, you can learn how to build your own chatbot without coding, and you can participate in certain challenges that will take your skills to the next level. Now, this was about attending webinars. Then let's talk about discussion forum. Now discussion forum is a place where you can have interesting discussions with your friends here in this community. You can talk about any topic of your choice. For example, let's say you came across a very serious problem that you think can be solved with the knowledge of AI. If you wish to collaborate with someone, you can put forward your theory, your idea, and ask people here in this community to contribute, and you can ask them to be a partner in this project, and collectively, interactively, and in an innovative way, you can come up with solutions to solve those problems. Not just that, 
You can even do lots of more things in the discussion forum, such as there is a thread in the discussion forum where people are creating memes. So you can also use those skills to make memes and post it on the forum to have a really nice laugh with everyone. Not just that, you will also get interesting updates here on the discussion forum, such, such as, let's say that there was a challenge that was given in any particular week. We will share the winner's solutions. We will share the activities that have been done in the week so that if you have missed any sessions by any chance, you can cover it by looking at those recordings. Also, at the end of every session, we will post the re recordings of the session for that particular topic, as well as the links for any resources that have been shared in the session along with the recordings. These will be posted in the events section of the community so that due to any reason, if you have missed a session or you could not attend any particular session, you don't have to worry about anything. We have got you covered. All right. In the demonstration, we will show you how to access the session recordings and the resources that have been shared in the learning webinars. Okay, now let's talk about challenges. Every month, a challenge is given to the students to participate and win exciting prizes. You can attempt these challenges by going to the events section. And after reading through the description of the challenge, you can then prepare yourself to attempt the challenge. Once you have completed the challenge, you can share your responses to us. And at the end of every month, we will announce the winners and we will discuss some of the interesting solutions that you students have made while attempting in this challenge. The challenges can be on any topic. For example, there was a challenge in which you can make your own chatbot without coding. All you have to do is identify a very serious problem about uh, that you know that is occurring in today's time. Once you have identified that problem, you could prepare a repository of questions and answers that the users would like to know about the problem so that you can spread awareness through your chatbot and the users would get the responses for any query that they have about the problem that you have scoped. Like this, there were other challenges also, such as building a model with which you can identify whether the person has worn a mask or whether the person has not worn his mask. How cool is that, isn't it? Like these challenges, there will be lots and lots more challenges that will come up every month for you to participate and test your skills. You can practice the concepts that you have learned during the month through the learning webinars and put that into practice to attempt the challenges. And if you have successfully submitted your challenge and you have been emerged as the winner, you will get an opportunity to win exciting giveaways. How interesting is that, isn't it? Similarly, apart from challenge of the month, there are challenges that are given out to the students during the week as well. So in an entire month, if there are four weeks, you would be given a challenge in each of these four weeks. And each challenge would be based on the topic that you will be covering in that particular week. For example, in this week, the challenge is on basics of Python and basics of algorithms and flowcharts. So all you need to do is when you register into the community, you can go to the events page and you can check out the challenge over there. I will show a demonstration of it so that you have a clear idea of how to look out for the challenges, how to attempt them, and how do you have to submit your responses to us. Like these, there would be more such challenges that will come up in this month, and you can participate in them. And in at the end of the week, which is on Saturday, there would be a session 
where we announce the winners and also you will understand some tips and tricks that will help you to improve those skills. You will understand where you might have gone wrong, how can you improve and what could be the solution to some of the parts of the challenge that you couldn't solve. All right. And talking about the learning webinars, there are sessions every day from Monday to Saturday. All these sessions would be around 60 to 90 minutes. And we not just this, we also have a session on Wednesday where we do not learn anything, but we simply have fun. We enjoy where we play games and activities. Now in this session earlier, it was called fun events, but students have named it AISC Wednesdays. So every Wednesday, we will all participate in a session where we will play games and activities. You will get an opportunity to participate in a quiz, a Kahoot quiz, and you will have lots of fun in this session. Similarly, throughout the entire week, there are learning sessions. And on Wednesday, we have a session to have fun. And on Saturday, we we'll discuss about the challenge that was given for that particular week. How interesting is that? Right? So this was about challenges and learning webinars. Now let's talk about blogs. If you are interested to write about any particular topic, if you know, uh, if you want to share your experience, if you would like to talk about something cool and interesting that you have come across recently, you can write a blog and our team will review the blog and post it if it has been approved. So if you are a keen writer and you wish to put your thoughts into words, you can write your blogs and share that with us for getting it published on the platform. Not just this, what else can you do? You can participate in competitions. You can participate in a particular workshop called a boot camp. It's called the Building AI Readiness Boot Camp. Currently, there is a boot camp that is going on for girls. It is a 15 days workshop where students learn a lot more about artificial intelligence and they would be learning about a particular domain of AI. And at the end of the workshop, every student that are participating in the boot camp would get a chance to build their own AI enabled solution, their own AI enabled project. And not just that, lots of fun activities and games would also be posted on the platform for you to have fun and have a great experience. So this is what you can do in this platform AI student community. Now, let me show you a quick demonstration of what is the platform all about? What can you do in this platform? And where can you find certain things that would help in your learning journey? So I will share my screen of my web browser where I will give you a demonstration of the platform. Great. So this is the platform. The link to join AI student community would be shared with you in the chat section. Let me tell you a little bit brief about what can you find on this home page. So here you would see certain things that have been done for you. So what are some of the things that you can find here? We have something called the introduction video, which you can show it to your friends and also help them to get started with AI student community. You can read about this particular page here that talks about what is AI student community. You can then look at certain AI projects that have been made by students in and they have been shared here in this platform. You can have a look at certain exemplar blogs by clicking on this link here and you can have a look at how blogs are written by the students. What is the information that is contained in them? And what can you include in a particular blog that you wish to write? Not just that, you can also have a look at certain learning resources 
that have been shared for your assistance. Now, let me show you how can you sign up for AI student community. So upon opening this page, which, which will be shared with you in the chat section, you need to click on sign up. Upon doing that, a page will open up where it asks you whether you're a student or a teacher. Now you have to click on student. Once you do that, a page like this will open up on your screens. You need to fill in the necessary details here, such as first name, your middle name, your last name, and other relevant information, such as your email address with which you will start your le learning journey. This is the email address that you will be using to log in into AI student community. Apart from that, you will need to put a password that will help you to log in into AI student community. So these two things are very important for you to remember that will help you to log in into AI student community. Followed by this, you will be required to enter necessary details such as the state, the country where you're from, the state where you belong, which city do you belong from, what's your gender, which class do you study, what's the name of your school, what is the school type, okay? So once you fill in your details, you need to click on submit, all right? So I hope you got an idea of how you can Right, so I hope it was clear to you. How can you uh, get started with your journey in AI student community? All right, now let me show you what is included in AI student community and what are the things that you can do here on this platform. Okay, now let me take you through the platform and show you the different aspects of this particular platform. All right, so when you log in into AI student community, the page would look something like this. All right, now on this home page, there is something called as UID. This is your unique ID, which is nothing but your uh, something like roll number in your schools. All right, so this is very important as this will be required for you to enter in the learning webinars that you attend. All right, and you would see something called as bio here on the right hand side. What can you do here? So if you click on this pencil like button here, this will allow you to complete your profile on AI student community. You can mention details such as your, if you haven't entered your first name, your last name and your middle name, you can complete that details here. You can write a little bit about yourself. That would help you, uh, that would help us to understand who you are and what are your likes and dislikes, okay? And all the other details that you have given us while uh, getting started or while signing up for this platform, those details will also be highlighted here. You can check if those details are correct or not, and you can update your profile. Followed by this, you would see lots of things here, such as how many events did you attend? How many blogs did you read? How many blogs did you post? How many times did you reply on this forum? And how many videos that you have completed in the Let's Learn section? Okay, so this will be updated every time you work on AI student community. Okay, then you would see that there are certain tabs here at the top of the page. 
So those tabs are home, let's learn events, forum, blogs, and AI projects. Okay. So we are currently on the home page. All right. Then there is this tab called the let's learn section. So if you click on it, you will see that there are five lectures on Python and five lectures on artificial intelligence. Upon clicking on any lecture video, you would see that there is a video here attached. And if you scroll further down, you would see that there are certain resources that have been provided to you so that you can learn more about this particular topic. If you wish to explore more about the topic that is being covered in this video, this is the section for you. Like this, there are lots of other lectures on Python and about AI. Now, if I talk about Python, you if you notice that there are certain additional resources here, and apart from that, for your own hands-on experience, there is a Google Collab Notebook. These notebooks here in this section would help you to get started with practicing Python if you are a beginner, so that you can get a solid foundation on the concepts of Python and on AI. Okay, so this was about the Let's Learn section. Now let's talk about events. So if you click on the events page, you would see that there is something called as upcoming events and past events. So now in upcoming events, you would see that there are lots of events that have been scheduled for this week. What are those events about? If you wish to read more about it, you can click on that particular card, which you see here and scroll down to read more about what is this event all about? What is the topic that will be covered? And what can you learn from this session? The session link to join the session, a link has been provided to you over here. So upon clicking this link, you will be directed to the platform where you will join these webinars and learn about the topic which will be covered in the session. You can notice the date of the session along with the timings for it. So this particular session here that you see is from 4 o'clock to 5.30. Okay, like this, all the other events have the necessary information that will help you to join the sessions and understand what are the timings for it. Apart from that, you can also see certain events where it says about challenge of the week, challenge of the month. So if you click on those events, you would have the description of the challenge. What is this challenge all about? What are you going to attempt this challenge on? What do you have to do? How do you have to submit? If you need any help, we have given you some information that would help you to attempt the challenge. Also to submit your work, we have attached a document, a Google form that would help you to submit your work. The deadline has also been mentioned. And at the top of the page, you would also see the submission form. So this is about challenge of the week. Similarly, even information about challenge of the month is also mentioned here in this event card. You can open it and read more about the challenge of the month. So for this particular month, which is July, sorry, for June, a challenge was already given at the beginning of the month and this challenge ends tomorrow, which means on the 30th, the solutions and the winners will be announced on this particular event on 30th. Now, let's say that by any reason you missed a particular event and you want to cover it, not just that. Let's say that you also want to revise the concepts that you have learned while attempting while attending the sessions. So you, for that, you can go to past events. Let's say that you have missed the session on conditional statements and loops in Python. So to know more about it and to cover the session, you can click on this card and then you can see what was the 
topic that was covered in the session. You can find the resources that were shared in this particular session. Along with that, you would see something called a session recording here. So if you click on this particular button here, you would get access to the recording of this particular session and cover the concepts that you have missed in this session, right? So this was about events. Now let me show you about blogs. Now there are lots and lots of blogs that students have written and shared with us. Those that have been approved have all been posted on the platform. So these are some of them. You could see that the blogs have been written on various topics such as challenges for machine learning, how to make a game of stone, paper and scissors in Python, is artificial intelligence unbiased and lots of other topics. So you can open these blogs and read more about it. You can understand what is the thought process of writing this blog. You can understand what would you need to write a blog of this sort and what is the information that you can include in writing a blog. So you can, if you are interested to write a blog, you can share your thoughts and opinions in writing the blog. So how can you do that? You need to click on add blog here. So once you do that, a page would open up that would allow you to write your blog. To create your blog successfully, you need to choose a cover image that goes with the blog. You need to put a title of the blog. What is the title of your blog that you will be writing? A short summary in two to three lines that gives the readers an understanding what is this blog all about? Followed by that, the main text or the main body of the blog comes here in this section where you can add pictures, you can write your text and you can share the information to the readers about the topic that you will be covering in the blog. Once you are done with this, you need to select suitable tags that are related to the blog that you will be writing. Once you identify the blogs, and once you have verified the information here, click on submit and then our team will review the blog and approve or disapprove the blog based on certain parameters. So that was about blogs. Now let me show you about the discussion forum. Now here, as I said, in the discussion forum, students are talking about lots of different topics. For example, there is a thread that talks about share your learning journey. Welcome to the launch. They, sh they are sharing memes. They are discussing about Windows 11 that was released recently, about deep fakes. They are having fun by participating in discussions such as share wrong answers only. What is your favorite author? What is it that you have made? You can collaborate with people, ask your queries, and get your doubts solved. So there is lots that you can explore here in the discussion forum. And you would see that how active these threads are. For example, this one was active four minutes ago. This one was active 28 minutes ago, and so on. So you can go on to the forum and you can participate in any thread. All right. So you can explore the discussion forum and interact with students here on this platform. All right, then let me show you the AI projects that have been posted here on this platform. So these are some exemplar projects that the students have made by leveraging their knowledge on AI and they have shared that with us and we have posted here on this platform. So you can read about it, you can watch their videos to understand what is the project idea and what is the project all about. So if you are also interested to make your own AI project, this is the platform for you. And if your idea is extraordinary, we will provide you with mentorship support so that you can convert your idea into reality. Okay, so this was about the AI student community. 
Now, if you have any queries and you wish to share those queries with us, all right, you can reach out to us at aistudentcommunity.cbse.gmail.com. You can have a look at what are the community guidelines. You can have a look at the additional learning resources. If there are certain questions that are commonly asked, you can find the answers to them here in the FAQ document. Also, what's more, what more can you cover in this particular platform? So you can see there is something called as what's new section. So you can read about what are these sessions or what are the events that are going to come up in the future. If you need to know more about it, click on it and explore the information contained in it. All right, if you are watching any particular video in the Let's Learn section and you have left it midway, you can continue learning by clicking here. So you will be able to continue your uh, watching this video and learning about Python and AI. Also, if you need to know what are the events that are coming up or what are the latest events for this week, you can find them all here also in the latest events tab. So if you need to more, more, know more about it, click on the event card and read more about it. You can scroll to find out what are the events that are coming up and what can you do in this particular week at AI student community. Okay. And not just that, you can have an update on what's latest in AI. You can read news articles and any latest updates in the field of AI and topics related to AI in this particular section. You can click on read full article to read this an article on this topic and know more about what is going on in the field of AI in today's time. What is the current trend? You can find out more about it by reading the articles in this section. Okay, and if you have published any blog, those will be published and visible here also. So you can also see what are the blogs that have been published recently. And if you need to know more about it, if you want to read more about the blog, click on read full blog and you will be directed to the particular blog. And you can follow us on social media and get more exciting updates, not just about the platform, but in the field of AI through our social media handles. Okay. So this was about AI student community. I hope you have understood what are the different aspects of this platform, what can you do here, and what can you learn by becoming a member of AI student community. Now, before we take your questions and queries, let me show you the journey so far. All right. The journey so far. So far in AI student community, we've had members from around 19 countries. We've had more than 17,000 members in AI student community, and we are close to achieving 18,000 members. Not just that, around 66,000 and more uh, people have visited this community from around 80 countries. Also, more than 200 blogs have been written and submitted in this particular platform for out of which around 40 have been published on the platform. There are more than 400 plus active threads on the discussion forum and more than 8000 replies on the forum on the topics about AI and any other related topics. So join AI student community with the link that have been shared with you in the chat section. Okay, so with this, we have covered the topics that we have to cover in this orientation session on AI student community. And we now leave the session open for your questions and queries. So if you have any queries, feel free to ask us in the chat section and we will cater to your queries and assist you with the platform. Also, 
We will also be sharing the feedback form for this session and for AI student community. So ensure that you uh, share your valuable feedback to us and you ask your questions and queries with us before leaving the session. So thank you so much and let's solve your questions and queries now. Okay, so we have a question. How can webinars learn or uh, help us to learn about AI? Now, these learning webinars are conducted on various topics about AI. For example, there would be topics about what is AI project cycle, which is a framework that would help you to turn your ideas into reality. You can learn about models such as K nearest neighbor algorithm that would help you to make predictions and solve classification problems. You can learn about packages and libraries that would help you to build models and projects based on AI. So I hope that answers your query. We have another question. Convince me to join your program and tell me the benefits of your program. All right. So through this uh, community, you can participate in lots of challenges. And in the by participating in the challenge of the month and by successfully winning the challenge, you can win exciting giveaways. And if you have an extraordinary idea, you will be given an opportunity to be connected to a mentor, an expert that would help you to turn your idea into reality. Okay, not just that, through this platform, you will be able to learn lots more about artificial intelligence and Python free of cost. Yes, there are no charges whatsoever to be a part of AI student community. You can interact with lots and lots of students that have joined this particular platform and you can learn about lots and lots of innovative ideas and topics around AI. All right, great. We have another question. What is the difference between AI and programming? So now let's say you have uh, you know, a very interesting idea and you want to turn it into reality. So for that, you would need knowledge on AI. You would need knowledge on the various models and algorithms and the framework to build that particular idea, to build that particular solution. So with the help of programming, you will prepare your model, you will prepare your solution that would help you to turn your idea into reality. And this particular solution can be used by people to solve their problems. Okay. All right, we have another question. My brother wants to learn Python, but he is in college. So can he register? Now, the answer to this question is, that students who are a part of, uh, from classes six to 12 can be a part of this community. Okay. What is the scope of AI in the prospect of choosing it as a career? Now this technology of uh, artificial intelligence is, a, is an emerging technology and there is lots and lots of scope for further improvements, for further advancements. So if you wish to pursue it as a career option, if you wish to pursue it as an option in your higher studies, then this would be a great idea. You can learn lots and lots more about AI and you can apply your skills in the real world and solve lots of problems and contribute to the society. Okay, I hope that answers your question. So feel free to share your questions and queries with us and mark and give us your valuable feedback via the feedback form. Also, you can join the AI student community with the link shared in the chat section, which is AI student dot community. All right. Now this feedback form that you will be filling, we, you can mention details such as what is your name, 
Uh, if you have already joined AI student community, then you can share your unique ID and share us your feedback. What did you like the most about this particular platform? What would you like to do? And how did you like this community? So share your valuable feedback to us with the form. All right. Do we need a laptop or a computer for this? So yes, you would require laptop or a computer for lots of sessions. Now there is a student called Dia Sarkar who is attending the sessions on her smartphone. And she also attempted several challenges through her smartphone because her laptop was not working and she won those challenges. So there is nothing that could stop you and there is no time limit or time frame up to which you can learn. All right, so I hope that answers your query. Will this help the children who are not clear with the basics of Python? Absolutely. You can begin your learning journey in Python with the Let's Learn section and you can go through those lectures and the resources shared to get started with Python. Also, you can go through some of the past events that we have covered on the basics of Python so that you can learn more about Python apart from the topics covered in the Let's Learn section. Okay, I hope it is clear to you all. Great. Can we link our account in this website? Uh, I think you can. So when you become a member of the AI student community, that is the account that you have to follow and uh, learn more about AI through AI student community. Okay. Any other questions or queries, feel free to post them in the chat section and we will cater to your queries. All right, we have a query, how to participate? All right, so if your question is regarding learning webinars, so you need to go to the event section search for the event that you wish to participate, click on enroll to ensure your reservation with us. And when it is time to join the session, a session link is provided to you over there. If you click on it, you will be guided towards, register, you will be guided towards the session. And if your query is about the challenges, then uh, the, you can go to the event section, go to the particular challenge that you wish to attempt, and read more about it. All the necessary details that have that you would need to participate in the challenge have been shared with you. To register for AI student community, the link has been shared in the chat section. All right. And you don't have to register to participate in any webinar or a challenge. All you need to do is go to the events page and explore the events. I hope this solves your queries. If you have any other queries, feel free to share in the chat section. And I hope you had uh, uh, you had great session to understand about AI student community and I hope that you have received the links to become a member of the AI student community. So we wish you all the best and together we will learn about artificial intelligence and Python through this platform. All right, there is a question. I know absolutely nothing about AI and coding and things. So will I see progress if I become a member of this platform? Yes, you can uh, measure your progress by yourself. So let's say that you are a beginner in Python. If you go through the lectures of uh, Python that have been included in the Let's Learn section, and if you practice it with the resources that have been shared along with it, through that you will understand that what was your understanding or proficiency in Python before starting these lectures and what is your proficiency now. Also, after every session, you can measure yourself that with the help of the resources that we share with you, how have you progressed into your learning journey? If you need any assistance to uh, progress your learning journey, 
you can talk to us in the discussion forum and we will cater to your queries there. So I hope that answers your question. All right, great. So thank you so much for joining the session. It was wonderful to interact with you all. And I hope you have had a great understanding of what is AI student community and what can you do in this platform. So thank you so much for attending this session and we will end the session right now. So thank you for coming and I hope that all of you take care, stay safe and have a great evening. Thank you and bye bye.